Hey everybody, good afternoon. Happy Memorial Day. Mark McNett with Bernstein Realty. We're live here in uh, Northwest Houston at 15006 Rigdale Street. I'll be posting a link to the house on uh, HAR. Uh, I'm sorry, on Facebook here uh, after we do the video. We're going to do a little tour of this cute little house. It's 180,000. It's a four bedroom, two, bed, two bath and two car garage. Uh, just uh, just over 1,800 square feet. And again, in Northwest Houston, this is Concord Colony. Um, so let's uh, start the tour, show you around a little bit. And again, uh, this is Mark McNett with Bernstein Realty, MarkKnowsHouston.com. If you guys have any questions, type them. I can see people already uh, chiming in. Hey, Lori, how you doing? Um, good morning, or good afternoon, I should say. Hey, Teresa. All right, so a little quick shot of the street. Quiet street here in uh, Northwest Houston. If you're familiar with Houston layout in Copperfield, uh, we're just south of there. It's basically Highway 6 and uh, West of Little York, uh, pretty close to that neighborhood. So this home, uh, the, the current owner has lived here almost 30 years, he raised his family. And um, now their uh, kids are gone and they're ready to kind of get going. So I think somebody will have a great opportunity here. Uh, I'm going to repeat this quite a bit. It's 180000 So with the uh, FHA, uh, with 3.5% down payment, you could probably pick this up for about 1500 a month. If you did a conventional mortgage with 5% down, your uh, payment would be about 1400 a month. And uh, knowing apartments around here, that is uh, cheaper basically than a two bedroom apartment. So as you enter, uh, we're gonna check out, hey Shannon, um, the dining room here and uh, pretty cool floors. Now this particular room, because there's four bedrooms in this house, you might make one of those bedrooms a study but if you really needed those, the four bedrooms as four bedrooms, this could possibly be set up as an office. <laughs> Not anything crazy, but I love this. I love this old door here, seeing so I go, who's there? <laughs> so uh, that's all set up. All right, coat closet here. And now we're entering into the living room. And when it's a smaller home, what I can appreciate are the high ceilings. This is a vaulted ceiling here with a uh, beam. Uh, really nice uh, floors as well with the uh, mosaic tile accents. Then you've got the wood-burning fireplace with, uh, that's flanked by windows. All the windows in this house, uh, except for one over the uh, the bathtub. Everything else has been replaced with double pane uh, uh, vinyl windows. Now this mantle is kind of cool. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a uh, outlet up there. So at Christmas time or any time really, you could plug in something up there, uh, a little light, or let's say you put a television up there. You're already ready uh, to go. So wood burning fireplace. You don't really see the brick fireplaces like this anymore. So that's kind of a neat touch. All right, quick uh, look outside. Really nice big backyard back there. Mature trees, obviously. All right, we've got the paneling here. And I'm gonna slowly pan around here. There's the kitchen, we'll go in there in a second. Again, we are at 15006 Rigdale, R-I-G-D-A-L-E Street. 77084, just over 1,800 square feet. Now that room right there, that's the dining room, but this, is, this breakfast area is pretty spacious. It's um, 10 by nine, and of course it's open to the living room here. So if you had that space there as a study, then maybe your dining room could be here. So we're gonna walk over here to the kitchen. Uh, butcher block, uh, laminate countertops, and a little breakfast bar right here. White cabinets. 
some of the appliances have been replaced recently, like the dishwasher, uh, the electric range. Actually, it's a five burner. Kind of hard to tell on the screen, but it's a five burner. Got uh, double ovens here and a lot of pantry space all through here. So uh, tile floors that extend through here and into the breakfast uh, slash dining area. All right, we're gonna go real quick over here. This is the utility room. And it's actually quite large. It's, it's a kind of a rectangular shape. So washer and dryer would go here. You got a gas connection. I'm gonna stick my head out here in the garage. Now again, it's needs a little paint, but what's nice is this little side door over here to get to uh, the side yard. But uh, these older garages are actually oversized, so you've got quite a bit of space over here for uh, shelving. It's at least six feet wide. Um, so we, it's a two-car garage, but honestly, it's, it's a little larger than that. Okay, so we're going to go in here. Again, utility room right here. Trying to go slow so you guys don't get dizzy. Back to the kitchen. Uh, refrigerator will stay. Microwave will stay. Again, this house is 180000 Just to repeat, if you were to buy this with the minimum down payment, 30-year mortgage, at 3.5% interest rate is what they are today, um, FHA mortgage, your payment would be about 1500 a month. Conventional mortgage, about 1400 Okay. So let's go back to the bedrooms real quick. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm watching. So, not another nice thing. This door, you know, simple door, but you can close off the bedroom area from the living room area. All right. So we've got bedroom number one, a little dark. There's no, the ceiling fan doesn't have a light fixture, but uh, carpets were just replaced about two weeks ago. Uh, nice paint in here. Uh, pretty decent closet. Now this one's more shelving. I guess they had it set up more like an office in here. And we'll go over here to bedroom number two. Basically same kind of setup, also with a big uh, closet. We'll go down the hallway here to bedroom number three. Good size. Now, things in this house, just as a reminder, you'll see it on har.com if you go look at it. And I'll put a link to the house on this uh, posting after I get it up and running. Um, all the galvanized pipes were replaced. Water heater, AC system was replaced in 2013. Roof has been replaced. So, uh, you know, things that you don't see, like the, like the windows, like the roof, plumbing, all the kind of behind-the-scenes stuff have been replaced in this house. So, master bedroom here. So, really what's left is probably a little bit of cosmetic stuff. If you were an investor, this would be a great rental. Um... Four, four bedrooms are kind of a rare breed around here. All right, we're going in the master bathroom. Uh, updated plumbing fixture there. And let me pull back just a little bit. So we've got tub shower combination with flanking uh, closets. And, uh, you know, they're decent size. I wouldn't call them massive, but when you have two of them, then you're, uh, you're in good shape. All right, tub shower, and again, nice basic white tile. That's the only window, I think, that hasn't been replaced in the house. But uh, other than that, they've all been done. So we've got, uh, try to keep myself out of the camera here. We've got the vanity here. And again, really nice and spacious master bathroom. And this extra vanity is pretty cool. So, you know, compared to new homes, this house really does have a lot of cabinet space, a lot of storage. Again, the two closets here. And again, the master bedroom. 
Hey, good afternoon, Mark. How are you? Okay. So again, 15006 Rigdale Street in uh, Northwest Houston, right uh, south of Copperfield, if you're familiar with that part of Houston. This is the hall bath. Again, carpet in the front part. Uh, they replaced the mirror. We've got separate tub shower in this section. And uh, more storage here. Again, lots of cabinets. This, they just don't do this in homes, at least in this price range anymore. Uh, 180,000, four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Real quick, last glance at some of these bedrooms. Uh, just over 1,800 square feet, built 1980. And again, a lot of the good stuff, the roof, the plumbing, air conditioner uh, was replaced in uh, 2013. Double pane windows have been updated. 2012, the roof was done. So uh, back door here, and then you're looking out into the uh, backyard, big palm tree and stuff. So I'm going to cut this off for now. But I appreciate you guys watching. And um, again, I'm going to put a link on here so you could uh, see the still shots and, uh, and uh, look at it on HAR.com. Uh, but again, if there's any questions or if you want to see a private, uh, see, have a tour set up uh, to see the home privately, please uh, let me know. Be glad to show it to you or uh, anybody at Bernstein Realty celebrating our 35th anniversary. Which is pretty cool so all right guys I think that is it appreciate you uh, joining me today if you have any questions again post them down below I'll uh, see them and uh, reply and of course uh, uh, able to help you if it's not this home another home again one five zero zero six Rigdale 180,000 if you uh, qualified for FHA uh, three and a half percent down with today's rates. It'd be about fifteen hundred a month, fourteen fifty to fifteen hundred a month. Conventional uh, thirty-year mortgage probably be about fourteen hundred. A little bit more down payment, but uh, think about that. Uh, if you're in a department, we can help you, kind of guide you through the process. And of course, investors, we uh, we would love to show it to you as well. A lot of opportunities as we're opening up Houston again. So happy Memorial Day, Mark McNett with Bernstein Realty, MarkNosHouston.com. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.